It's the issue that is top of mind for most voters in Baltimore City, the unrelenting crime. It's only the middle of July, and the city already has nearly 200 homicides. And current city state's attorney, Marilyn Mosby, is trailing as she seeks a third term. Let's take a look at the latest numbers in that race. Challenger Ivan Bay is currently with the lead, with incumbent Marilyn Mosby in second, Theroux Vigneraja in third. So WJZ is live right now. Paul Gessler is following the campaigns. He has more on the hill Mosby has to overcome to top Bates. Paul. As you see from those numbers, Vic and Denise, Marilyn Mosby, the incumbent, trails the challenger, Ivan Bates, by more than 4,000 votes. But this race, far from over, there are still more than 20,000 outstanding votes yet to be tallied, many of those mail in votes. Marilyn Mosby, late on election night, urged her supporters to hang tough. I'm going to fight the same way I fought to get into this position until every single vote. Is counted. The two term incumbent prosecutor is trailing to challenger Ivan Bates. We talk to the voters, the voters we feel want change. Bates told WJZ Tuesday his first focus would be prosecuting illegal gun possession. He also wants to turn around Mosby's policy of not prosecuting certain low level nonviolent offenses, stressing prosecutors need discretion, even if it's recommending diversion programs. When we are not holding people accountable, when people are doing what they want, and we have some of the lawlessness we've seen. The Rubignaraja is currently running third, despite the endorsement from outgoing Republican Governor Larry Hogan. Political scientist Roger Hartley says he's surprised at the results thus far, and Mosby will need to make up considerable ground in the mail-in votes. If uh, Ivan Bates holds on to win, um, he got some late endorsements from city leaders and even state leaders, uh, which I think helped him as well. All right, guys, so look, it's going to be a while before we know who won this race, right? Now, this race, again, far from over. There are still 12 election day precincts that have yet to be tallied, as well as more than 20,000 mail in ballots that can't be opened until tomorrow. Now, as far as today, all three candidates in this race staying pretty much quiet, waiting for these votes to be opened and tallied later this week. For now, reporting live in Northeast Baltimore along Cold Spring Lane, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.